Except beaches, sound raw. No, I'm just joking. Um, you might be wondering what's with the glasses. Um, today I went to go see uh, at the theater Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part Two. And to be honest, it's been like eternity since I've seen any Harry Potter movie, so I haven't seen Part One, so I don't know what that's like. My my mom, you know, just asked me, "Hey, you want to go see it?" So me, her, and my sister went. Um. And I'm not a movie guy. I'm a gamer. So, I mean, I I play video games way more than I play, uh, and then I'll, I'll watch movies. Um, actually, probably the most recent movie I watched was, or the last movie I watched was Die Hard. And I got that, like, what, last year? So, yeah, I'm not a movie person. Um, or, or I have seen, like, a couple Back to the Future things on TV, so, um, Anyways, you guys probably, if you haven't seen it and you're probably thinking about seeing it or whatever, you probably ask me what I thought about it. Um, well, these are 3D glasses. I know I'll tell you to recycle them, but my friends always keep them, so I thought I'd do the same. Uh, it The 3D effects were like, oh my god, they're fucking awesome. I mean, it, it doesn't like actually come up, come out at you and stuff, but uh, it, it was still pretty fucking good. I mean... Now, sometimes I'd, I'd kind of cheat. I'd take my glasses off and I, I'd like, just so I could see what, what's with the screen. And I, I only saw it like it was like blurred and stuff. So like, that was like the only thing I could really see. And then when I put the glasses on, it looked actually realistic. Like they were like right there. I mean, so it was pretty cool. But like they don't come out of the screen or anything. Obviously, probably, obviously, I don't know. But uh, so yeah, so it was a good movie, and like uh, it was. Two hour, I, I timed it. It was like two and two hours and like ten minutes, something more around that. But it was definitely two over two hours. Uh, but if you haven't seen it and you, you're thinking about it, go ahead. It it's fucking awesome. Um, and like I said, I'm not much of a movie person, but it was pretty fucking cool. That's the first movie I've ever seen in 3D, so that that was pretty cool. Uh, also, my dad told me of another game store. Um, that's not too far away, so this week I'm gonna check it out. I can't this like I can't do it on Monday to Thursday because you know I got um, stuff to do, and uh, my my mom is leaving me her car so I can drive to summer school, and I I think I already mentioned that I, I apparently I didn't pass a class last year and that's the first time I've, I've ever failed a class, but uh, apparently I didn't do it. I I only have two more weeks to go though, and I'm free. I'm off the hook. Or, you know, this being the first out of the two weeks. And after that, I'm I'm free. And I'm then I got, like, one month left before I'm a senior. And like I said, after I'm a senior, after I graduate, I'm probably closing my account. Not guaranteed, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Because um, I, I don't think I'm going to have any more time to make videos. Uh, is this thing still recording? Okay, because I know I record a lot of videos on here. And it's got, like, one gig left. So, uh, put too many videos and music on here. But, uh... Anyway, so, so I'm going to, hopefully, uh, my dad's off on Friday, so I can go with him and check out this place, uh, and maybe I'll make a video. I still like the place in Seattle, though, it's where I buy all my old games, and they, like I said, they have, like, nearly everything there, so it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, oh my god, what, what else do I do? I had to do that, sorry. Um, I know, I wasn't funny at all. Um, I don't know if you guys have played, uh... Now, I, I, I don't think I've told anybody this. No, it's, it's not a bad thing. But, in my spare time, usually I do MIDI covers of NES songs. And my most recent one, I think, was Aladdin for the NES. Uh, and it was composed by Mark Cooksey. And he's, like, one of the best-known Commodore 64 musicians. And I, I really like his work. And I think I did show you guys the game I got, Ultima. I haven't really played it a whole lot yet, but uh, I'm surprised. The music was composed by Martin Galway. Again, a really good known uh, Commodore 64 composer. But the music sucks ass, or one of the songs does, and that's the main in-game song. Now, all, the other two songs, yeah, I said two, so there's only three songs the whole entire game. The other two songs are good. Now, I guess I can understand, I mean... I mean, cause they, they probably had to, he probably had to make that, like, audio driver really quick and then write music in, like, a day or something. If that's the case, then I understand why the music sounds the way it does. 
I mean, so then I'm not going to complain. But if he had like a whole fucking like month or something to write it, that then there's no fucking excuse. There's no excuse at all. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video on Bust a Move DS. I actually talked to one of the producers of the game, not in real life, but on online. And he, he was pretty cool, and he was like, hey, you know, thanks for, you know, liking my game or liking the game, you know. He was the producer, so, um, but, and the game, the, the developers have kind of a stupid name, but I'm, you know, my opinion is a stupid name, but it's called Happy Happening. A lot of Japanese companies seem to have a weird name, like Pack In Video, probably my favorite Japanese NES developer. And they made a Predator and Die Hard. On Predator, I've gotten to the last level, but I can never beat the final boss. It's like the Predator's head and stuff, and. It don't matter. I, I beat the Japanese version on the emulator, and they actually spell congratulations wrong on the Japanese version. So, I mean, that that one does use um, Japanese text, but when it says congratulations, it's in English text. Um, music, though, fucking kicks ass. That's why I have it on my iPod, because it's so fucking epic. But my favorite game of theirs is Die Hard. So that's, that's like my true favorite game of theirs. Uh... So I haven't been doing much, honestly, just doing those MIDI NES covers, well, that's it. And uh, I don't know why, I seem to like music from, like, I seem to like really crappy music from games, uh, Color Dreams and shit, I don't know what's with it, I've talked to some of those guys, so that's cool. Um, oh man, I'm contributing to that uh, video game site. If you guys haven't been there already, I don't think I've told anybody about this, but I'm, I'm one of the admins out of the Video Game Music Preservation Foundation, Foundation Wiki. That's a site where we contribute, we're trying to contribute every single video game soundtrack that there is, and uh, we, we post like software on there that, that they use to make music for games, and now it's old software, because we don't want to like infringe any copyright laws or anything, and uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can check it out for yourself. But I've contributed quite a bit of uh, stuff there. Uh, uh, my most recent ones were Total Recall and Aladdin. As you saw, I posted those. I, yeah, as you've seen, I've posted some video game music soundtracks. Uh, so, that's, that's cool. Uh, also, I realized I'm 24 subscribers away from having 1,000, which is a fucking milestone, and I, I honestly feel awful because I promise you guys that are feeling 900 subscribers. I guess with my fucking cam studio program, I could not fucking finish it because it's just being fucking ass, and I can't find a way to fucking fix it. I know I it did get it working like temporarily, but then it started fucking up on me again, and I don't know what the fuck it is. I do have a playthrough. I'm going to be posting. It's for Dragons of Flame. I mean, I'm going to be uploading it soon. I think I already got the um, WMV files loaded, but that Cam Studio is working then. I don't know what the fuck happened now. And I'm probably going to be playing through Deja Vu 2 um, on Apple 2. I told Superman123493 about that. I sent him a message, and he's like, okay, don't forget about this game and that game. And look, dude, you're awesome. I'm not joking, you're awesome, it's, you know, you gotta calm down on the quest, dude, I can't, I'm a human being, I, well, I can't multitask, I can't, like, review 3,000 games at once, dude, so just, just cool, you're, you're awesome, I'm not hating on you, I'm not trying to nag you or nothing, I mean, I, it's happened to me before by people I really admire, you know, I know you, like, admire my work and stuff, seriously, appreciate that, dude, you're, you're fucking awesome, dude, um, I mean, I'm sincere about that, I mean, I don't fucking diss people, even if they're annoying, not that you are, but you're, I mean, I, but there are some people who get on my nerves, and I still like them, because why should I hate them? That's, I mean, because I know what it's like, it's like, you know, talking to your idol or something, and then your idol's like, oh, oh I don't want to talk to you, I mean, you'd be disappointed, I'm not that kind of guy, I know how it feels, so that's why I try to be a nice person. Uh, unfortunately, I'm letting everybody step all over me nowadays, <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, I'm, so not a whole lot's been happening, though, so, anyways, that's it, uh, how long has this video been going on? Alright, I'll better end the video here, it's about ten minutes, so, uh, oh my god, 
Well, I need a Famicom, damn it. Seriously, if I don't have a Famicom, I can't run that thing. That family basic. So anyways, that's it, guys. Oh, ooh, man. No, I'm not on drugs. I'm just kind of trying to be hyperactive. I'm just, it's like, what? Isn't it 12 o'clock here? 11.42, so. I, I'm like the night owl here. I work the night shift. I'm up all night. <laughs> I go to sleep at like 4 in the morning, dude. I mean, I, I'm crazy like that. I have some kind of sleeping disorder. I'm like tired all day. And I don't know how that works. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. Anybody. Um, I will try to answer them. Seriously, trying to work on the review. But fucking, if I'm trying to get Cam Sue to work in. If someone knows, if, if someone can help me, I can tell you what my problem is. It's like giving me some kind of like file creation error thing. I downloaded the latest version and did the same thing. It, like I said, I did get it working temporarily and got a review up, but now it's not working anymore. Um, and I'm doing my video blogs like this because, you know, my, my microphone right there. Yeah. I, it, it's a tedious process to have to disconnect the MIDI interface that uses that and then to connect my webcam. So I'm going to be doing my video blogs like this from now on. Besides, don't you think they're better quality? I, maybe I can get like a... It's kind of, kind of like a stand for my iPod so I can just hold it in one place, you know. So it, so, you know, I don't have to like move it around the ship. But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and uh, more videos on the way, I promise. So, and thank you guys so much for all your support. I'm serious. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. So thanks guys and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Oh shit. Uh. There is, I, I might have to make a part two. Someone asked me to talk about something in a video blog, in, in my next video blog. So it's called build S.978. I'm going to make a separate video blog on that because I have a lot of things to say. So uh, um, that's it. And thank you guys for watching. And yes, I'll do a video blog on that bill. I promise. Very soon. So thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.